Paul Pogba uh, uh, like puts a, a, a gentle bow of uh, or color in his hair. This man is like this man doesn't take the game seriously. He's he ruined the club <laughs> from the ruined inside the club. out. Disrespectful to his manager, the supporters. Uh. Every single, every detail of what Paul Pogba did, it's he just clearly went into it uh, uh, with with clear a, a, a bias. Didn't like the guy, and for Cristiano Ronaldo to do the things that he's doing, behave the way he's behaving, and receive no criticism from a dude that criticizes everybody about everything, it's it seems I'm like, yo, is he, this dude on the take? You, so you would think with his behavior, especially this year, we 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 saw it, he didn't want to. Um, he didn't want to get in the game. He didn't want to be substituted inside the game. He and he walked, walked out, out. He walked left, off the pitch early. And yeah, left, just left horrible. Old, left Old Trafford. Um, so it, it's it's weird that like it all seems like a, a, at least a calculated effort to try to get out of the club, right? He it, we knew he wanted to leave in the summer, uh, and that didn't happen. So he's really just truly, truly, truly trying to force that hand and. I think what's sort of messing it up for him are the people who are defending him. I, 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 I genuinely think he does not want people to defend him because he wants to force this move. So the pundits that are like, uh, you know, they understand his perspective or... Wait, 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 wait. We're going to do this again because I do not understand what the hell you're talking so about. So I'm saying that... So Cristiano Ronaldo is trying to force his hand on a move by being a bad person. Yes. and then But, but people defending him is... Giving Manchester United pause of letting him go. Yeah, that, I, that, that's my theory. It's just it's, <laughs> how because it, it, it feels like Manchester United they should have gotten gotten rid of him, right? Because it was he was becoming too much of a distraction. Nobody wanted him, but nobody wanted. But also, you could you can also get rid of him if you really do not. No, he, nobody wanted to sign him. Yes, but even still, if it's if if his conduct is detrimental to the club, you terminate his contract. You figure out some way to get him out, right? It's yeah. not just solely relying on another club to buy him. Until he did this interview, he was trending in the in the way of saying, "I'm going to do something that's going. I'm going to do something bad enough to get me off this team." But he hadn't done it until this moment. Oh, I, well, I was, was nothing- I would say him not getting into a game. Uh, that he was called upon to jo- to get in and to get Can't in the really game. Can't drop and- a player for that, oh, bro. That the, also, there's no way that that's you're giving. Can be tolerated. I don't think you're giving enough credits to the fact that enough credit to the fact that the Ten Hag is in a really unadmirable position or an unenvious position of having to do this while knowing fifty percent or more of your fans will side with him no matter what, with Cristiano Ronaldo no matter what, because he's a a legend in their eyes, the goat in their eyes. It's taking, and you could see, look at the reaction Flex is getting from his yeah. not agreeing with this. And not even, and he's, Flex is being like pretty, pretty, you know, pretty even across the board and saying, yeah, no, he's right about the Glazers and this and that, but um, this isn't the way you handle it. And this is making yourself bigger than the club. And he's getting cooked. Right, bro. Ten Hag is is like, dude. I'm, I just got here, bro. <laughs> I barely know this guy. <laughs> Imagine you started dating a girl with a kid, and as soon as you walk in, they're both like, "All right, now figure this out. Is it me or him?" And you're like, "What? <laughs> okay, I, I just got here. I'm just trying to figure out what your favorite food is. <laughs> Damn, this is a lot. Should I? I guess what what little loop can I put my toothbrush in? Can we go over <laughs> that one? And then we we can figure out the family issues. He's now being tasked with sort of having to clean up this this mess. Yeah. That is Ronaldo. And there's no way to handle this where Ten Hag doesn't walk out of this looking like an idiot. There's no way because either he keeps him on board like he has yeah, been yeah. and Ronaldo continues to sort of put pressure on the team to treat him with respect, which means start him. That's all that means. Or he does this. He says like, all right, boom, you're fined or you're banned or you're you're benched or you're this or you're that. And Cristiano Ronaldo's like, well, then I'm going to go on fucking Beers Morgan. Yeah. And I'm going to say that uh, I, can't, I can't plug my iPad in anywhere <laughs> because the technology here sucks. <laughs> the Wi-Fi, I can't get it in the locker room. Literally, it just, <laughs> it just felt a little bit like he, he it, it was a... Um, uh, like an HR, like you mentioned, an exit interview. Like he's complaining to HR, right, uh, about this stuff, and and it, it felt a little bit like, bro, Piers Morgan ain't your therapist. Why are you talking to him about these? Like, very, yeah. it just it's it, it's childish. Uh, Piers I'm, Morgan is drooling, going, tell me more. <laughs> so, uh, look, we're everybody's gonna watch it, and it's all gonna be uh, fodder. But this, so this was a um. 
a, a clip that I saw uh, from uh, on TalkSport and Graham Sunis being, uh, uh, they asked him about Cristiano Ronaldo. I thought Graham Sunis was going to be like, yo, this dude's a clown. I can't believe he's saying all this stuff. And it was just a complete opposite. So have a listen. In times you strongly defended Cristiano Ronaldo, surely you can no longer defend him after this. I certainly do. I come back to it as a meeting. Two people speak, two people leave the room with an understanding, um, and someone has not kept their word. But what about his conduct here? And he this feel, is an unauthorised interview. He feels, he feels it's time for him. He's never spoken. He feels it's time for him to come out and tell his side of the story. That this is- okay. Bro, he's never spoken. <laughs> what? This is like Twilight Zone, Black Mirror, just come. I'm like, I cannot believe this man is saying this. This is. Bro, I think his, I think Graham Sunis is like, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Everyone goes left, I go right. <laughs> that has to be, that has to be, there has to be a, 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 a real strategy in what take you're going to do here because this is, this man, if, if, if uh, Paul Pogba. Uh, uh, like puts a, a, a gentle bow of uh, or color in his hair. This man is like this man doesn't take the game seriously. He's he ruined the club <laughs> from the ruined inside the out. Disrespectful to his manager, the supporters, uh, every single every detail of what Paul Pogba did. It's he just clearly went into it uh, uh, with with clear a, a, a bias. Didn't like the guy, and for. Cristiano Ronaldo to do the things that he's doing, behave the way he's behaving, and receive no criticism from a dude that criticizes everybody about everything. It's it seems I'm like, yo, is he, this dude on the take? Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. It has to be, bro. The, yo, I'm telling you, man, it starts from the top, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is where it comes from, yo. This is insanity, man. You, I just, I, right now. He's been the most, like, traditional old football yeah, the way he uh, used to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got mad at me for wearing a hoodie on Syria. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of man he is. And now to be like, nope. No. Nope. I with Ronaldo. Uh, he's just a man complaining <laughs> about a reasonable thing. Oh. Oh, oh. He's just, he can't disagree with his club. Oh, well, when was the last time you went on Piers Morgan <laughs> and they battered you? You know, I he, defended you. He's basically like, look, Cristiano, he was forced to talk to Piers and yeah. do all this stuff. Yeah. Insane. I can't. I can't. Put it together. I don't know what this man, Cristiano Ronaldo, has on all these people. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, this is when now the the I think it's totally fair to come up with the most ridiculous conspiracy theories. You know what I mean? I, one of them would have been that Graham <laughs> Sooners would have defended this. <laughs> this is this is wild, and it almost seems like as he's responding, he's it's almost like he has to like get you know do the Meisner like okay I have to get in character and I have to. You know, present you this emo- it, There's no way it's, it's it like can't, a, it doesn't feel genuine. You know, like a slot machine, like it's click, like he clicks one and he goes, Well, they're not gonna believe that one. <laughs> click next one, he's like, I don't even believe that one. <laughs> click the next one, he's like, Well, this one's gonna have to be <laughs> all right. It's three cherries. Here we go. <laughs> uh, this is absolute bananas activity from, and these are the same people who would call us clowns for just having an American accent and talking about the sport, of course, of course. 